Today I'll show you guys how to set up a basic limit switch program. I already have a prototype set up with two limit switches, one above the, lip, the lift arm and another one below the lift arm. I have them both set up parallel to it, so that way when it comes into contact with it, it won't have the tendency to slip off and for the lift arm to just keep going up when it's supposed to stop at that point. I also have a plastic cover set up on the lift arm so when it comes into contact it won't have the likelihood to slip through one of these holes and rip off the lever arm on the limit switch and damage it. I have it set up for both analog and digital on the cortex and the programming. Right now I have it pushed up all the way on the analog stick and it won't go any higher. I have it pushed all the way lower now and it won't go any lower. Now I'll show you digital. I'm pushing down the button and it doesn't want to go any higher. Same for the down position. Alright, now I'll show you guys how to set up the programming in Easy C. Alright, now I'll show you guys how to set up the programming side for the limit switch. You're going to want to go to standalone and joystick project. You're going to start by dragging a while loop into the program and you're going to set it equal to one. Next you'll go to joystick and there's two ways of setting this up. Joystick to motor and limit or joystick digital to motor and limit. I'll show you how to set up both. In joystick to motor and limit it will ask you for the joystick number. You have two options, one and two, one being the primary or the one with the USB port underneath it and choose the all gray controller without the USB port underneath it. I'm going to pick mine as one and for channel it's going to ask you for the four directions which the analog sticks can move. They're going to be marked on top of the joystick. I'm going to set mine for two. Motors are for the motors that interact with the lift. They're going to be plugged in on the motor side of the cortex and you're going to want to pick the motor of which port it's in. So in this case, I'm going to pick 10. Invert direction is in, well, for example, let's say that you're pushing up on the joystick, but the robot's going backwards. You would flip that to 1, so that way when you pushed up, the robot would go up instead of going backward. I'm sorry. It would go forward instead of going in reverse. Positive and negative limit switch refer to the limit switches mounted above and below the lift arm. So for my positive limit switch, it would be 1, and for my negative, it would be 2. Alright, now I'll show you how to set up joystick digital to motor and limit. Uh, it's the same for joystick number. You have two options, 1 and 2. Uh, channel number, you have 4. They're the digital buttons on the front of the controller and the top. I'm going to set mine for 8. And for button, it, it it gives you options that are they're going to be labeled D, U, L, and R. D meaning down, which would be for one. Two for up, for uh, two. L for left for three, and R for right for four. So I'm going to set mine for two for the four direction. Motor value is the motor speed that the motor turns. You can change this to a loader number if you want, say 60 if you want, so it can go slower but I'll leave it at default for 127, which is the max speed which the motor can go. That is by default. Limit switch, you want to pick the limit switch that is associated with the forward position. In this case, it will be your positive, the limit switch above the lift. So I'm going to pick one. Uh, same for button. You're, well, for reverse direction, you're going to pick the stuff that's opposite of your forward direction. And so instead of being up, we're going to select down, so one. For motor value, it's going to be inverted. It will be negative. But if it was negative here, you would make it positive there. For limit switch, you would pick the limit switch that would be your negative limit switch. So I'm going to pick 2. And for motor number, you would pick the lift motor plugged into the port on the motor side of the cortex. So I will pick 10. That is how you set up a... Uh, limit switch program for your robot. 
you can either pick joystick digital to motor and limit or joystick to motor and limit depending on which one you prefer if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and subscribe and like the videos for more